how's everybody doing? Y'all doing all right? I hope so. Anyways, Chad, I'm just now leaving my doctor. I came up here this morning because I got tested for COVID. I got a COVID test done. The reason being is because I was watching the news last night. And um, they were talking about how so many people are still dying from the COVID-19. Also, they said that it's going to be a second wave of the COVID-19. And I was just like, if I don't make it my business to get up and just go get tested just to see, just to be on the safe side. Now, mind you, I still believe in God. You know, I'm going to always believe in my father. I am going to trust and believe that I do not have it because I know that I am covered by the blood of Jesus, okay? But living on this earth, y'all, we just have to be safe. So I was just, you know, watching the news and they were talking also about how people are walking around here with COVID and they're not experiencing any type of symptoms whatsoever now y'all know candy poop be out here in these streets you know i do keep my distance from people i keep my mouth you know protected or whatever i have not been experiencing no type of symptoms symptoms or anything i just want to make sure that i do not have anything just to be on the safe side because i don't want to you know be surprised all of a sudden and i have it you know so it's just better safe than sorry and um i just went and got up and just made it my business and i was just like okay listen i be out here i need to just go get tested because this this little corona thing it's no joke it's no joke even though people are still around here acting like um it's over with which is not and they're opening it up all of their business you know now they're also telling um some of the schools that they can, you know, open back up so that the kids can return back to school. So Jemiah is supposed to be returning back to school, y'all. Um, I really don't know the exact date yet, but they sent me a, um, a text message and an email stating that they have been talking about uh, the skit, I said the skit, the kids returning back to school. And, um, I was just shaking my head like, Lord knows this is not happening because I know some parents may want their kids to go back to school, but I'm one of the parents that don't want my daughter up around a whole lot of kids at this particular time because ain't nobody said that the COVID has gotten better. Ain't nobody said that the COVID was over. Now, as far as the little vaccine or whatever, when I did, you know, you know, when she was swiping my nose, because that's how they test you. They take this little Q-tip and they stick it all the way up your nose, like all the way up your nose. So it kind of burns and hurt just a little bit. But while she was testing me, she asked me, she said, so are you going to get the the um, the COVID vaccine? And I was just like, no, I don't think I'm going to get it. And she was like, well, I did take it. And I just want to run you down, you know, a couple of my experiences when I did take it. So she was telling me that she took the test and she started to experience um, fever. She experienced a little bit of upset stomach. What else did she tell me? She, um, she said something about, um, I think she said she had a slight headache or something like that, but she did say she experienced some things and I was just like, wow. And she also mentioned that the reason that she was experiencing stuff is because the vaccine was trying to get immune to her body so that she won't get the COVID. You know, even if um, somebody around her that has it, she won't catch it. So I was just like, well, I took the flu shot and I never caught anything or I never got sick or nothing like that. She also mentioned that she took the flu shot and she said that when she took the flu shot, she also experienced some, you know, hot and cold symptoms with her body, you know, chills and stuff like that. And I was just like, 
wow she was like well yeah because maybe everybody's immune system is different different and i was just like yeah you right about that because when i took the flu shot i didn't get sick i didn't experience anything and you know i just had normal body symptoms you know i didn't catch anything or have any chills fever nothing like that when i took the flu shot and she was telling me that the vaccine is almost like the flu shot and I was stating to her, I was just like, well, thanks for letting me know what you experienced, but I still don't think that I want to take it because some people are dying from the vaccine. Some people are, you know, getting really sick from it. And some people are just, you know, having like minor symptoms or whatever, and they're, you know, recovered from it. So at this point, I don't want to take anything. I don't trust anything. So I'm just going to depend on God. Um, like I've been doing, you know, when it comes to me getting sick or anything that's wrong with me, I pray to God and I take the normal over the counter medication. That's what I do. So, but it is better safe than sorry for everybody out here to get tested for the COVID-19 just so you will know that you do not have it. Because like I said, it's people out here that do have it, don't have any symptoms at all but you might be around that person or be standing next to that person or whatever or may have touched something that they've touched and then you got it just like that so it is good y'all to just go get tested or whatever and just you know continue to continue to depend on the lord and just know that he he, he is y'all protector you know y'all covered by the blood okay so that's just what it is so that's the reason why i got up early this morning y'all because when i saw that on the news i was just like another wave of covid is about to hit so i need to just go out here and just take the test still just to see if i have anything you know i just want to make sure within myself because like i said i'll be out here in these streets and y'all notice that I have not saw my granny because I do be out here and if I did have something I didn't want to bring it back to her and my granddad but I am at my granny's house I just pulled up at her house y'all and like I said I don't think I have anything I'm trusting in God and I have the faith that I don't have anything I'm praying that my test comes back negative so so y'all just you know just pray for me that I don't have anything and yeah but i did just pull up at granny's house i don't know if she in the house let me call her right quick to see if she's in here now i know i haven't been over here in a while because my granddad was sick a couple of weeks ago and my my grandmother she was just here you know taking care of my granddad and stuff like that and i know a lot of y'all have been asking me how granny poo doing i did talk to her um um I'm trying to figure out that was like some weeks ago I did talk to her just for a slight minute. I didn't talk to her long, but she is doing, you know, she's doing pretty good. She's doing all right. And that's it y'all. But I don't know if my granny in the house or not. She may be at work or she may be in the house. I'm not for sure, but I'm gonna call her right quick just to see because you know, her and Smoochie may be gone somewhere. I don't even know. I don't think she's she's at home, y'all. Cause ain't nobody answering. Mm-mm. Let me. Your call has been forwarded. No. She not in the house, y'all. So I believe she's either with Smoochie somewhere or she's going to work. My granddad is probably at one of his kids house if my granny is not in the house she's not gonna leave my granddad here because i know he was you know sick and stuff like this so he's probably at one of his kids house and they're probably taking care of him until she gets back home so yeah i want to see my granny today though but she like i said y'all she probably gone but anyways i am headed to um trying to figure out where i gotta go I'm not going to be out here long, but I do have to run in a couple of stores. Let me get my, my 
my bag right quick. I do gotta run into run in a couple of stores to grab some items. Let's see, y'all know I'm always writing stuff down, child, because every time, every time I go somewhere and get out, I'm always forgetting something. So I just take me a little sticky note and just write down some of the items that I need. Okay, so I do need some paper plates. Um, I need to stop at Kroger. I wanted to go try to find that Elf Cameo Concealer, y'all. It's like a new concealer. Well, it's probably old now, but y'all know I'm really not a makeup artist or a makeup guru or whatever. And I don't just do my makeup like that unless I'm doing like a wig tutorial or something like that. But it's this concealer that I wanted to try by Elf. So I wanted to try to find some of that and pick that up. Other than that, y'all, I do got to go up in Dollar Tree. I am not going in the Dollar Tree that I was in the other day due to the lady talking about she don't want nobody broadcasting in there. She won't see me no more. <laughs> so, I am going to, um, is that Granny's garbage can next to me? I think it is. So I am going to hit up another location where I know that I could, you know, turn my camera on or whatever. And uh, hopefully I don't have no issues or no problems at the Dollar Tree today. Then I also wanted to try to find those hard candy uh, products that Miss Sadie she was hauling on her channel. Hey, Miss Sadie lady. <laughs> I said, hey, Miss Sadie lady. <laughs> hey, honey bun. But I was watching her channel and uh, she was showing like some really nice size uh, hard candy products like the, the size of the product, y'all. It's uh, It almost looked like a large size of it. And I just couldn't believe it. I was just like, hard candy must be about to go out of business or something or are they like getting rid of some of their old products and bringing out new products because for them to like have some large size products like that for a dollar at the Dollar Tree something ain't right <laughs> they must be finna upgrade or something child so I am looking for some of their products I used to use their concealer for my brows like probably some years ago I used to use it but I started using something else but they do have some primer that uh, Miss Sadie was showing. And I think she showed like some mist or something like that. And it was another item that she showed. I'm not for sure. But I am going to be on the hunt for those um, products. Because Hard Candy is a really nice makeup brand, y'all. People probably don't use it no more because it is old. But, you know, they products work normal. Just like um, Elf. Uh, just like Milani, even though those are, you know, old. I know Milani is like a really old product brand as well, but Hard Candy fits in that category to where, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, y'all. My throat child ain't even got no more smoothie in here. <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. But anyway, I was drinking on my smoothie this morning because, you know, your girl have to do her, her little collagen in the morning now but like I was saying um um hard candy products are just as good as elf Milani and um what's another old old product makeup product y'all that's like affordable um trying to think I'm not for sure sure y'all but I do know hard candy is not a it's, it's, it's not a bad makeup product line not in my opinion so I am going to be on a hunt for those products y'all <sighs> I'm just trying to see where I want to go first since I'm out here in this area um I really want to I really want to hit up like a different a different, you know, uh, hmm, a different beauty supply store that's out here. I do want to, I don't even think they open right now. What time is it? 
Okay, it's 10 30. It's quite early, y'all. It's quite early because, like I said, Candy Poo got up early, early, about 7 o'clock this morning. I got up, you know, got Jamaya up or whatever. And, um, that's when I was just like, let me just go on out here to this doctor because I need to make sure Candy Poo ain't got nothing. Even though she's not experiencing no type of symptoms, I just want to make sure, child. Because it's better to be, you know, sure than to have that mind of, uh, I really don't know if I got it or not. <laughs> you know, so I don't want to be in that category that have that mind to like, yeah, I be out here, but um, I don't know if I got it or not. So, yeah, y'all, please go get yourselves tested just to reassure yourself that you do not have anything. Okay? Okay, so let's see. We have a British supply store over here called B&B. I'm trying to see, do I want to go in there? Because... Hmm. Where my mind is right now, but I need to be going up in a Dollar Tree first. That's where I need to be going. There is a Dollar Tree out here in front of me. I do not like that one. That tree out here is. Uh, I just don't know the word for this one, but I just don't like this location. So I'm not even going to go over there because I don't like. I just don't like the environment over here. So I'm probably finna go, let's see. <sighs> let's see y'all. I can run in this Dollar Tree, but mm -mm. y'all know y'all had that mind like, girl, if you go in there, you already know stuff gonna be all over the place. I gonna do it y'all. I am not gonna do it, y'all, because this used to be the Dollar Tree that me, Granny, and Smoochie would go in all the time. And this one, my Granny complains about, and she always tell me, Candy Poo, this Dollar Tree don't never have nothing. That's the reason why I wanted Smoochie to take me out there where you at, time you vlog it y'all always carrying a lot of stuff and that's the reason why granny wants to go in the dollar tree out there you know by me but out here by her baby they don't never when i tell y'all they don't never have anything they don't have nothing stuff just be all over the place and everything just be gone everything just be gone i just be like <sighs> I ain't coming back over here either. <laughs> I ain't coming back over here. Uh-uh. I'm not. And y'all know what? I ain't been in this Dollar Tree over here in so long. It's been probably like six months. I ain't been over here at this location over here. So, I just gone out there. Um, I'm going to hit up one of these Dollar Trees out here by me. But I'm not going in that other one. Sure isn't. Okay. So y'all listen. I just drove past a school and it's just like full of cars. So I'm just like, have they already opened up the uh public schools already? I'm like, wow, because Jemiah, she doesn't go to a public school. She goes to a private school. So I was just like they probably already opened up the schools, you know, for the kids. Now, I do know that some of the high schools um, across town, they have already opened up. But I think it's just only a few kids, like, be at one uh, in one class at a time. So... I really, I really don't know how they doing it though. But even if Jamaya goes back to school, um, I think that they're gonna do it like have like you know certain classes come in on different days. You know, Jamaya's in the tenth grade, so I believe that they're gonna have like tenth graders come in like 
you know, maybe on a Wednesday or something like that. And then they may have their ninth graders come in like on a Tuesday. So everybody won't be bunched up in the school. That's how I think Jemiah's school is going to do it. Now, as far as the Memphis City Public Schools, I don't know what they're doing. I do know that the high schools, though, have already opened up. They've been open because it was on the news like last year that some kids got sent home from one of the high schools because they were exposed by COVID. So that's when I was shaking my head. I'm just like, these people, they don't need to open up the schools. They really don't. Because it's too many kids that's going to be around each other. And like I said on one of my vlogs, y'all, some of these kids are not going to keep their mask on. They're going to be complaining about their mouth hot or they can't breathe or it's going to be some type of issue because, you know, it's a child. So y'all know how kids are. They like to mingle. They like to be by each other, all that type of stuff. So I'm just hoping and praying that my daughter does just stay virtual for the rest of the school year um i believe they're going to give all the parents options that's what i'm hoping and praying that they do i'm not for sure though because i mean the kids they got to get out of school anyway in like two more months because it's already march so they'll be getting out of school in may so they might as well just keep the kids that are not at school at this time out of school and then, yeah, if, you know, anything has gotten better by next year, and then, you know, maybe send them to school, but they need to still do the social distance and the mask. I'm just saying. I'm just like, y'all, to be honest with y'all, I'm just over the COVID-19. I'm just over it. I, I really am. Like, I know it's the new normal to wear the mask and stuff like that. My husband... I got off the phone with him. He told me that they made it the law in Mississippi to uh, take their mask off. I don't know how true that is. Anybody that stays in Mississippi, y'all let me know if that's true. Like, are y'all not wearing masks in Mississippi? Like, what are y'all doing? Because <laughs> that's just what Lewis just told me. I, you know, I, I'm still going to wear my mask. I'm just saying, child. I'm going to continue to wear my mask. I'm going to continue to stay away from people because you just don't know. Like, you just, at this time, you just don't know. And then they're talking about a second wave, which they were talking about the second wave when the first wave hit. Everybody was talking about that. And they were saying that the second wave is going to hit around winter time. But it just so happened, people was going through other stuff during the winter you know winter storms power outages uh people not having food uh you know all type of stuff uh everybody going like to different places they're not in their own homes it was just bad and people still are experiencing some stuff like that right now so like i said <laughs> it's a lot going on y'all it's just a lot going on daily so i advise everybody to just be safe you know, anoint yourself, anoint your kids, continue to pray daily before you leave the house because you just don't know. Don't nobody know what is going to happen, you know, on that particular day. So I always keep myself covered with my anointed oil. I always say a prayer before I even drive off anywhere. Me and my husband, we still pray before we drive off and get out here in this world because it's so much going on. It's just so much going on. It's just ridiculous. So, yeah. The Bible's already written, y'all. It's already written. So it's up to us to just trust in the Lord, you know, do what we're supposed to do. And, you know, treat people right. Most importantly, live right. You know, live right. That's, that's what anybody can do. I know we all have our flaws and stuff like that. Ain't nobody perfect around here. But it's good to live a good life you know, righteous life. I'm just saying, because people are leaving here left to right. And people are here today and gone tomorrow. I'm just saying, y'all. So y'all just keep it safe. Stay prayed up. And I love y'all. I just, I just love y'all.
All right, y'all. So I'm up in here, child, and can y'all see? I ain't having no problems, no issue with my camera at all. But I'm at a total different location, and uh, I just want to see if they got these products that I'm looking for. And this Dollar Tree is a little bit, you know, organized. They really ain't got no whole lot of stuff just stored everywhere. <laughs> I am so surprised, but yet happy because I hate going up in them unorganized Dollar Trees. They got boxes all over the floor and stuff just everywhere, child. So, yeah, I do see they got some some hand soap for me. Normally, I don't see this much hand soap, but y'all, they pretty organized up in here, child. Let's see. I normally buy the Dow hand soap. And I don't even see that in here. I do see this right here, but I don't know if I'm going to grab that. I may just wait. Yeah, I probably just wait because I still have... Well, what is this right here? I think... Oh, okay. So this is the Suave Juicy Orange. No, I don't want that. I don't want that brand. I wish this right here... I wish this had a uh, a little squirt top, you know, on top of it, like uh, like this here. I wish they had some made like that, but they don't. But anyway, I'll just pass on this soap here since I don't see any Dow soap at all. It's kind of cool looking here too, child. Even though I don't have on no jacket or nothing, I got on my cute little jogging suit. I'm wearing my little socks, y'all, that I was on the hunt for, child. Finally got on one of my cute little jogging suits because I'm wearing it the way that I want to wear it, child. <laughs> but I don't have on no jacket or nothing like that because I know it's going to be like kind of warm today. It's just still cold because it's so early in the morning. But anyways... I'm over here in a beauty section, but I do not see any hard candy products. What is this right here? This is a nail polish holder. Oh, that's something different. These are the lashes that I'll be wearing. I'm gonna get me a pair of them. Actually, I'm gonna get two pair of them. Excuse me. I'm gonna get two pair of these, y'all. Cause these are actually the lashes that I got on like right now. I am rocking these right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna get me two of those. This right here. Bright skin sermon. I said sermon. Serum. <laughs> mm. So they have the cherry gel lip mask. So I guess you're supposed to put this on your lips. This is some uh, Broadway color correction face primer. Mmm. I think they have this here too. This is some more face primer. Well, I don't see any hard candy products up in this location. So maybe, you know, the products haven't got to Memphis yet. I mean, I don't know, y'all. I'm just saying, I don't even know, child. But I do see this Broadway, these, these uh, Broadway products and stuff like that. So, oh, well, huh, what is this? This is an eye on the prize. Oh, so this is an eyeshadow uh, chubby. What is called eyeshadow chubby. I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to roll it on your eyes and it's like some shadow or something. I don't know, Jay. Well, oh, y'all look. I do see one product from Hard Candy. This is the... Uh, oil free baked powder oh this is pretty too sets makeup 
blurs flaws eliminate skin i think i'm gonna pick one of these up right here this is the only product that i see from hard candy up in here i don't see nothing else so they may have you know put some products out and people just probably <laughs> just probably got all of them child what is this this is some uh lash glue okay so she making lash glue as well i know she got her little lashes going on but she got lash glue and everything okay then and this is the gel shine i need to grab some of this too this is some gel shine Y'all listen, don't look at my nails, child. Y'all see this nail done broke, this nail right here done broke. <laughs> Y'all don't ask me how my nails broke, child, cause I don't even know. I don't even know, child. One minute I was cleaning up and realized one of my nails had broke and then <laughs> I was doing something else and then another one like chipped and I was just like, okay, listen, I ain't even take these nails off. I'm going to keep them on because I know probably next week I'm going to do me a full whole set anyway. So I'm just going to keep these on and just don't even worry about it, y'all. So I've been walking around like this, y'all. <laughs> That's how Candy Poop been walking around, child. And this just happened, though. This just happened. So I was just like, whatever. I ain't going to worry about it. <laughs> okay, so let me just walk around here. See if they got some type of place. Y'all, this store is just so clean and organized, though. This is what I'm talking about, Dollar Tree. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all are uh, y'all doing good over here. Y'all really is. Now, what y'all need to do, y'all need to uh tell the other Dollar Trees to get it together. <laughs> That's what y'all need to do. Tell them they need to get it together. Because, uh, those other Dollar Trees, they are a hot mess. A hot mess. Okay. Yeah, look look at that. Look how long this aisle is, y'all. But y'all see how clean and organized everything is. You don't see no boxes down there. Everything is just on the shelves. Just so nice and organized. And ain't nothing just all over the place. I mean... This is exactly like I said, what I'm talking about, y'all. I'm looking for paper plates, y'all. That's what I'm really looking for. I have some uh, Fabuloso at home already, so I don't need to pick none of that up. I have dishwashing liquid, so I don't have to get that. I done brought myself all the way down here. Let me see. I do need to grab some of these right here, though, for my uh, refrigerator. I'm actually going to probably pick up three of them. My refrigerator and my uh, my uh, defreezer. So I am going to pick up me some, pick up me another pair of gloves. I'm going to get large. So I be using these right here, y'all, to clean up with, y'all. Yeah. Because every time I buy a pair of those, it just seems like my nails are always putting, like, a little bit of hole in them. And I just be like, dog, didn't I just buy these? Child, and I just be, like, going clean through these gloves right here. I mean, I be, I done bought so many pair of them gloves, y'all. It's ridiculous, child. <laughs> but I have to have them, though, especially when I'm cleaning, like, my stove and cleaning up the restrooms and stuff like that i'll just throw them babies on okay let me walk down here they really don't have any paper plates not that much they just got those down there but i ain't gonna get those because these here they really don't have many in there plus these are the real big plates and you only getting like 14 plates i like the other size I'm probably gonna have to get me some plates somewhere else. I am gonna pick up some of these right here. I was trying to pick up some that had more in there. But I'll just grab these. You get 20, 29. So let's see. 
Oh, okay, so you got 18 in there. So maybe this is some that carries more. Well, here goes some right here, y'all. Oh, these are the ones that you fold over, though. I actually don't want those. I really want these. So I just grabbed these. Five below, y'all. Y'all know I had to come up in this one. This is like a really big one. So I wanted to come up in here anyways to see what kind of nails they had, child. so impressed about all of this stuff that I'm seeing up in here child like I didn't even know they sold this type of stuff what girl <laughs> I just had to give y'all a quick little tour this is a big one okay a big location chair and I like it y'all a little tour right quick but what i really went in there for y'all was some nails and they didn't really have any at this location and i just knew that they were gonna have have some cute little nails you know stocked up this location didn't have really nothing <laughs> i hope my radio ain't up loud try to turn it down Let's see. Okay. Yeah, y'all, but this is the location that I was gonna come to the last, well, actually was when it was raining out here and I drove past here and I told y'all that I wasn't gonna go up in this uh, five below this time. This is the one that I wanted to go in. This is the big one that they just put over here. And I just knew that, uh, that they were gonna have like, you know, a lot of nails up in here, but they don't. <laughs> but they do got some nice little home decor stuff up in there. I was shocked. Like, when did they start selling all this type of stuff? I mean, they had some really nice stuff up in there. Like, stuff that you would find like at Dollar General. And I know a lot of us, we be sleeping on Dollar General, child. Because they be having like some nice decor, you know, stuff up in their store too. I have bought a couple of items from our Dollar General. But uh five below and the stuff ain't but what five dollars up in there. Some of their makeup products though that I was looking at, 
I think they were like two dollars and fifty cents. Some of them was like a dollar fifty. So I guess they running like a little, you know, sale or whatever, Chad. I don't know. But um, let me give me some to my little chap right quick. But yeah, but guess what, y'all? They building a Ross over here too. Cause I was driving up this way, and I know I remember telling y'all that they put in a a. a did I tell y'all they was putting a new TJ Maxx over here? Or was they remodel? I think that they were remodeling the TJ Maxx over here when I drove past it. But they're also putting a Ross over here. And y'all already know. Y'all already know I'm going to be over here. Y'all already know Candy Poo finna be over here. I don't want this camera to be making all this rattling noise. I hate that and I know y'all be probably hearing it when I'm talking and I don't want that to be be going on at this time I'm gonna try to put something up under it let's see if I can put this up under it so it won't be making all that noise all right so hopefully when I'm driving y'all don't hear all that little rattling or whatever I'm gonna go this way I am gonna go to big lots right quick I'm gonna this time head to big lots since the last time I was supposed to have been going to big big lights and didn't somebody behind me trying to child you trying to come out and I'm trying to bag back <laughs> but why is my signal light on but yeah y'all the last time I was up in a five below I forgot to run up in the big lights so I am most definitely about to run up in big lots today right now because I need those shoe bins for my shoes. I do. So that's where I'm headed to right now. I'm not going to the location by me since I'm out here in this area. I'm going to another uh, big lots. So ain't no guarantee they're gonna have these shoe crates i'm just hoping that they do because they run out quickly now so i'm hoping that they got at least three of them for me because that's all i need is three of them <laughs> but you know what i might as well pick up more than three because i know i do have some more sneakers coming in and um I'm going to be running to Big Lots again if I don't just pick up more than, you know, what I need. So, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. My closets, both of my closets are running out of space, y'all. I mean, literally running out of space. I don't have a lot of clothing space in my closet, nor shoe space. Like, it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to start putting some of my shoes just, you know out on the floor in my beauty space just somewhere in a corner somewhere because I have no no more space to store none of my shoe bins like I got two of my wig bins in my closet as of now and it's taking up a lot of room because I don't have nowhere to store those and I am not taking those out of my closet and putting them out you know just out in the open in my beauty room because I just feel like that's going to take up more of my decor space because I like to, you know, display a lot of my bags and just a lot of little cute stuff. I want to, you know, sit out and display on my shelves. So I don't want like bins and stuff just sitting out in there because <sighs> I don't know, child. I just, I just don't want my beauty room to look like that if y'all understand what I'm saying. So I just be so glad that me and my husband move and get a bigger home i'm gonna be patient though because i know god got something really big in store for us so i'm just waiting patiently you know and when that time comes child i'm gonna be so excited so excited i know somebody asked me um actually she didn't ask me anything she told me on one of my vlogs she was like candy poo remember you used to want to go to dallas so bad and that's all she said and I was just like I wonder what she mean by that maybe it's because the snowstorm hit and everybody was going through all of this stuff like power outages you know no water um, it's just a lot of bad stuff that was going on out there 
you know, tragic accident. And I guess she was referring to me stating that I wanted to go there so bad, but look what just happened. Like, I mean, that's just how I feel that that's the way she was putting it. So, I'm going to say this. Even though all of that stuff happened in Houston, even though, or Dallas, period, you know, it really doesn't matter because that same exact stuff can happen anywhere. It does not matter where you at. All of that stuff could have happened here in Memphis, Tennessee. You know, everybody experienced a little bit of snow and, you know, experienced a snowstorm in their state. Some people did, but a lot of people did. But I'm just grateful that what Dallas went through, we did not go through. And I'm still praying for those victims that has suffered, you know, with power outages, um, not being able to have water and stuff like that people are racking up on food and you know the tragic accidents and stuff like that i am definitely praying for everybody but my thing is i still want to go to dallas still because at the end of the day who's our protector no matter where you at god is our protector so even if me and my husband was in dallas just say for instance we went to dallas um I'm going to say like last year, you know, just, I'm just going to say that. And we were in everything that everybody else was in at this particular time. And, you know, me and Louis, we were just in the same predicament as everybody else. We lost power, you know, we didn't have any water, you know, we was freezing and cold and stuff like that. We probably had to travel to a hotel due to us not having um, heat and stuff. Just say, for instance, our home, me and Louis' home, just got de destroyed, okay? I'm just going to put us in the same situation as somebody else. Just say that did happen to us. I'm going to say this. If it did, I'm still going to be grateful and thankful that God kept us alive. Because, like I said before, People go through things. You just don't never know what you're going to go through. But it's always a testimony. And no matter what anybody goes through, you still have to overcome the, the tragic. You have to overcome the trials, the tribulations. Anything that God is putting you through is going to make you stronger at the end. So even if me and Lewis did experience, you know, the stuff that a lot of Dallas people experienced I would just be grateful that I'm still here I could have lost my home transportation you know power all of this stuff I could have lost it but as long as God is keeping me and my husband together and my children alive and all of us alive and safe that's all that matters because can't nobody get a life back you know can nobody you know get your husband back if your husband died if your wife died, can't nobody get your wife back. If your children gone, can't nobody get your children back. But as far as losing things, that's okay because everybody's going to overcome all of that stuff. And at the end, they're going to have a testimony stating that God kept them. So trust me, no matter what nobody is going through or wherever you at, because things happen everywhere. It's just not in you know certain states things happen everywhere just like dallas was experiencing you know power outages no water and stuff like that we experience you know uh food being gone we don't really have any water out here we did experience uh you know a, a little snowstorm out here where people couldn't go nowhere you know people was off from work and stuff like that and yeah everybody everybody is is still going through something it's just that some states went through worse than what some states went through. But at the end, are you dead, though? You know, you're still alive. And you just overcame a whole big incident that it could have been a little worse. It could have been a little worse. And at the end of the day, even though if you, if some people lost their home, or somebody was in a tragic accident, lost their cars. You best to believe that God is going to bless you with another house, maybe something even better and bigger. He's going to 
bless you with another vehicle, you know. He's going to bless you with everything that you lost. So it's not the end for nobody that went through something. It's not the end because God is always giving us a brand new day. You know, he's always giving us bigger and better blessings. So, yeah, we just have to realize that our lives are more important than materialistic things out here in the world. You know, as long as we are alive and God is keeping us, that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, we can get a new home. We can get a new car. You know, we can, we, 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 we're going to continue to survive with God's help. It may take a little time, you know, you may struggle a little bit, but I guarantee you God is going to eventually bless you. Even if he got to touch somebody else to bless you, you're going to get blessed. So, yes, I just wanted to say that because the way that the message was left up under one of my videos, I was just feeling like she was referring to me and my husband, like what if we were in Dallas during a time where people lost you know a lot of stuff or they going through all this stuff right here you know not having water power outages and stuff like that i don't know if she was referring to that but listen like i said before child i'm still living i'm still alive and that's all that matters that's just all that matters so i'm grateful very grateful to have my husband my children and my family is okay you know i'm grateful Found. Water. I'm gonna go down here though and see if they uh if they got the Kroger brand water. <laughs> Hopefully they do. I see this water right here, spring water. They got all this water over here, channel. So over there by me, they have no water at all. So I'm gonna grab like two of these waters just to be on the safe side. the Lord I am finished here <sighs> girl them lies up in there it's just ridiculous candy put and found some more water they had a lot of water up in there I couldn't believe it I just couldn't believe it I grabbed me like two two cases because we already got like two whole cases still at home so we got four in all now so there should be enough water to last us you know just in case something something else does happen. We got enough water, child. 
I'm trying to wipe my hands off with these wipes because I had a. Uh, I poured a whole lot of alcohol. Here's my alcohol right here, y'all. I poured a whole lot of alcohol up in here just in case I don't want to keep using the uh, hand sanitizer. Who alarm going on? Somebody alarm. But, uh, yeah, I done poured a whole lot of alcohol in these wipes, child, because sometimes I just be want to wipe my hand off real good. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm, thank God for the water, Lord. Because it was a time where there were no water to be found. <laughs> but they done finally, finally stocked up on some water. Finally. Hmm. Let's see where else I got to go. So I went up in Big Lots, Kroger. Um, trying to figure out where else I had to go today, y'all, before I uh, shoot to the house. I wasn't doing too much today, no way. I was just running my little regular old errands that I normally do. I was trying to figure out where else I had to go while out out here in this area out here which I'm probably not gonna go nowhere anyway and just stay in there for a long period of time because I have food that needs to be in the refrigerator plus it has gotten a little bit warm out here so it's not as cold as it was this morning yeah I do gotta stop at my P.O. box I know I got to stop there because I have some mail up in there that I was supposed to have gotten a long time ago. Now, I do have love mail sitting in my beauty room right now that I have not opened up yet, which I am going to open up when I get back to the house. And are you coming on, babe? I guess not. And um, I got some more... Uh, mail in my PO box but that mail is for Jemiah. Miss Judy already contacted me and told me that uh, I knew the camera was going to cut off on y'all but she um contacted me and told me that she sent Jemiah something so I do need to head to my PO really quick pick up my mail and then shoot to the house Oh man, I did not know they was gone out of business over here. Well, they're not completely gone out of business, but they ain't over here no more. Y'all, Rainbow has shut down over here in this area. They ain't even over here no more. I wonder where they done located to then. Because normally when they move from one place, they, you know, they go somewhere else. Or it's the Rainbow's finna go out of business. <laughs> I don't think they is, child. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyways, child, let me head my little self on to this P.O. box right quick. Get my mail and uh, shoot to the house. Yep, that's what I'm about to do, child. That's it until I think about what else I gotta do today. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I was gonna um, call my mom and tell her that I need to go up in Sam's because she has a Sam's card and she be taking me in there when she go or she'll just hand me over her card from time to time if I want to go in there. I haven't decided yet if I wanted a Sam's card because I was thinking about just getting me a Costco card because I just feel like Costco is better than Sam's y'all. What y'all think? I don't know. That's just what I feel. I mean... I just think Costco has a lot more better, you know, products in there. Or, you know, it may just be the same. I, I don't know, child. I have the slightest idea. But I rarely go up in Sam's. I don't really go in there, you know, a lot to be getting the Sam's card. Like, I don't even really shop in Sam's. 
you know, I may go up in there from time to time with granny or my mom or somebody like that, but just going up in there, just doing a whole lot of, you know, shopping and stuff like that, like grocery shopping. I don't, I really don't grocery shop in there. Furthermore, um, it's just me, Lewis, and Jemiah, so I don't have to buy no real big bulks of stuff, you know, because it's not, it's not a whole lot of people in the house. So I just mainly just buy what Jemiah and Lewis want, and then I'll just buy my little healthy food or whatever, and that's it, child, because I know buying all that stuff in bulks, it will not get eaten, okay? It's gonna sit and sit and sit in the freezer or in the cabinet somewhere, you know, until it get old. So, I specifically go in the grocery store and just buy what Jemiah and Lewis tell me they want. And I'll just get that because I don't know then they're gonna eat it. <laughs> so, yeah, but I did pick up a couple of grocery items that, you know, Lewis and Jemiah did ask for. Um, and I just grabbed me a couple of items. I didn't really grab me much though, cause you know, I already got like some of my uh, healthy food is still is still at home. I, I did grab me some frozen corn though. Cause so I know I ran out of the corn. Um, I still have, you know, that whole bag of tilapia. Plus, I really just been doing a whole lot of salads lately. Like, I eat a salad just about every single day, y'all. Every single day. Like, I should be tired of salads, but I'm not. <laughs> I can eat a salad every single day. Now, I don't have to do the same salad. I do, like, different salads. But Candy Poo can eat a salad every single day with a piece of tilapia. If I don't do the salad, I may do me some broccoli or, you know, some mashed potatoes or something like that or some corn. And that's it, child. Like, I don't really do too much of nothing. Not too much. But all that other food and stuff like that, I be making that stuff for Lewis and Jamal, you child. Cause they be asking for hot wings and um, pork chops and stuff like that and green beans, porky ribs. I just made uh, Lewis and Jamal some corky's ribs baked beans and um what else did they have with that they had a side of mashed potatoes with that as well so i just cooked them there and i just been eating on salads child that's it that's all i didn't want now i did do a turkey burger one day because i had a taste for a turkey burger so i did you know bake me a turkey burger in the oven and that was pretty good. I know somebody asked me what I put in my detox water. And somebody also asked me um, what my my air fryer was set on when I put my tilapia fish in there. So um, the stuff that I add in my, in my detox water is uh, fresh ginger, cucumber, uh, mint leaves, lemon, and um, what else I put in there? I think that's it. Ginger, mint leaves, cucumber, and lemon. That's that's it. That's all I put in there. And then I just pour me some some uh, purified water in there. I let it sit for about a day or two, and then I'll drink it. And that's basically it. And it be so refreshing to the body. Like in the morning time on an empty stomach, it be so refreshing. Well, to my body it do. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I put in my detox water. Now as far as the the um, setting that I put on my air fryer for my tilapia, I really didn't like look at the timer on there and just, you know, time it or whatever and said I'm gonna put it on this amount of minutes. I just set it in there and I just turned it on, child. I don't know how many minutes I turned it on because I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> when I'm cooking in that air fryer, child, I just turn the knob and let it cook and continue to just check it back and forth to see if it's done. If it's done, I'll take it out. If it's not, I'll just, you know, slide that baby back on in there 
And that be that on that. But I really don't be paying attention to what I put it on. And I don't know why, child. I just don't. I just got so used to it. Child, I just put my food in there, turn that knob, and that be it. And I just, you know, check it from time to time to see if it's done. So, <laughs> I hate I can't just tell you what to put it on, but maybe you can put it on, like, 15 minutes or, I don't know, maybe 20 to cook it, but listen. <laughs> Like I said, y'all, I just turn the knob, child, and turn it on and let it cook and just continue to continue to look and see if it's done. That's all I do. So I'm making a quick stop at Dollar General. See if they got some paper plates up in here. And I do need to pick up some uh, some plastic forks as well, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus, I hope they got what I need up in here. Okay, so they do have paper plates, but the ones that I'm looking for, they do not have. So I'm just gonna grab, I'll just grab these right here. And I'm gonna grab some, uh, oh, I should have grabbed some forks and stuff when I was at the Dollar Tree. I wasn't even hiding. Oh, these are spoons. My thing is, I I really don't like these. I like the the longer ones. They're clear and they're more longer. They like they look like real like spoons, but they're plastic. I really don't like these because these are like real small. So I ain't gonna get those. I just get these paper plates right here. And let me go look at their nails while I'm up in here too, Chad. I just want to see what kind of designs they have. All right, let's see what kind of cute nails they have. Hmm. I like the coffin-shaped nails. The only thing about it is they just don't fit my hands like, you know, like this part here going around the nail when you're putting it on. If it's square, it's not gonna it's not gonna fit my nails right, and I don't like this. So that's the reason why I don't buy the kind that look like. Let me see if I can find some for y'all. All right, so y'all see these? These are like really pretty, but y'all see the part where you um right here at the top? Y'all see this? Let me see if I can show y'all in a better way. <laughs> see if I can put my camera right here. So I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, so y'all see this part right here of the nail. This round part right here. If that's not round, it's not gonna fit my nail properly and I don't like that. It's somewhat square-like. And I've tried some nails like that before and I tried to put them on, chair, and they just wouldn't fit right, like around this part of my nail. So I'm just like, I ain't gonna be able to get no nails like that because I done tried like two sets like that and it just didn't work out for me. So I'm just like, oh Lord Jesus. I was just like, let me put this back up here. Saying to myself, I ain't even gonna worry about it, child. I'm just gonna do my own nails, paint them, you know, and just keep it moving until I find some that's like round, you know, to where I can just put them on my hands and I ain't got to worry about trying to foul them and then you know put them on I like these right here okay so this is the difference y'all see how round those are y'all see the difference this part at the bottom is round to where you can just you know put them on your nails instead of fouling them I may just pick up me some of these I hope they ain't too uh these look short though they look real short. <laughs> I didn't want no real, real short nails. But I just like this color though. Let's see. I like these right here too. These are cute right here. <sighs> well y'all listen, let me get my tail up out of here. Let me just get up out of here. <laughs> I 
know, to stand in line, y'all, to get a package, child. But... Okay, so this is Jemiah's right here from Miss Judy. And I got some more packages at home that I have not opened. And I'm just going to open it up, you know, once I get home and get my little self situated. But I am on my way home, though, y'all. And I'm going to go home, wash my uh, little, little groceries off, and put all this stuff up. And then I'm going to sit and talk to y'all for a minute and open up my little love mail. And that's going to be it, child. So, y'all, I just got through putting up my little groceries and stuff like that and wiping everything down. I'm going to throw this box here in the garbage. Oh, it feels so lovely out here today. It's not too cool and it's not too hot. Feels just right out here today. <laughs> oh. All right, y'all. I'm going to get ready to open up my... Let me wash my hands right quick. Touching it nasty the garbage can. I'm about to be ready to open up my um, my P.O. box mail. Jemiah, she's still in a... I had mopped my floor. That's why I'm kind of like trying not to walk on it. But I had mopped it over there just a few minutes ago. But anywho, um, I'm going to wait till Jemiah get out of school so she can open up her little, uh, her little packet from... Miss Judy. Thank you, Miss Judy, for sending out Jemiah some love mail. I really do appreciate that, darling. Okay, let me turn on my ring light because I don't know. Well, there's a lot of light up in here today, though. I don't need this ring light, y'all. <laughs> I don't think I do. I have enough, like, natural light up in here. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and open up my little love mail. This comes from S. Walker right here. So let me get some scissors. This might be for Lewis. Let's just see. Let's go back to church volume, volume number one. So this is what I got. And this is from S. Walker. So I guess, oh, okay. I'm glad I opened this up. This is a little note. It says, if you like the music on this CD, would like to make a donation, please send it to my cash app, Sammy Music. I think that says Sammy Music. Mm. So maybe this is a gospel, a gospel CD, y'all. Probably some music that, let me see. Sammy, I hope I'm saying your name right. Sammy, maybe this is some music that he created and he want me and Lewis to listen to it. So we're going to take a listen, okay? And we're going to see if we like that. So thanks for sending that out to us. Alrighty. Moving forward. I have a box here. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And this is from... Um, This don't say who it's from. I did get an email though from someone. And... Uh, I really couldn't tell um, the email name. I just know it started with a J. So it could could be Jacqueline, the lady that sent me some love mail the last time. I'm not for sure, but I don't want to, you know, um, make no mistake and say that this came from the wrong person. So I'm not going to say anybody's name at all. So... Whoever you are that sent this to me, I really do appreciate this. 
and um, just let me know, you know, if you watch this video that this mail came from you or you can just email me and let me know like that, okay? I may have a note in here or something. But this is how it's packaged, y'all. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and take it out of the plastic and stuff. I love the packaging, by the way. This is really cute. Let's see. Y'all, I just glanced at it and I'm just like, I think I know what this is. Cause when I saw the word YSL, y'all. Oh, I don't want to cut this bow, but I think I'm going to have to put this in a knot. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut the bow. Y'all, look at this packaging. YSL? Y'all already know what this is, babies. Oh, my gosh. So, this is what it looks like. The packaging. Okay. So I do have a little note in here. Thank the Lord. So I would not be getting nobody, you know, mixed up with love mail and stuff. So I was right. This came from Miss Jacqueline. Thank you so much. This is the card right here that she sent to me. And it says um, Nordstrom. So I believe this, this came from Nordstrom. Uh, uh, Nordstrom. I'm gonna correct myself, y'all. Hopefully, I'm saying the word right. But this reads Dear Candy, I'm one of your supporters. I want you to enjoy this beautiful gift. This is my favorite from Jacqueline. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Jacqueline. I really do appreciate you. I really do. So, I have this little red bag right here has like some goodies in here let's see so we have this is some PCA skin clear skin um let's see what the back says I don't know I think this maybe hold on y'all This may just be like a little tube of, let me see. Let me just open it up right quick. Cause I don't wanna tell y'all nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm shaking it up like it may be some powder or something, child. But this is like some lotion light. It doesn't have a, a scent to it or anything. But I believe you put this on your skin so that it can be clear because it says clear skin. So, yes, yeah, so I have a little tube of this. This is what it looks like. Okay. And then I have this here. And this is, uh, I really can't, I really can't see that. Y'all know Candy Poo can't see. This is Velvet Cream. It says, oh my God, I cannot see. I need to put on my glasses, y'all. Like, girl, I just cannot see. Like, what is the problem? Like, I got on contacts, you know, to help me see. But then I have to put on my glasses as well. I know somebody asked me that in my comment section. Candy Pooh, your eyes are so pretty. Are those contacts? Yes, ma'am. These are contacts. I've been wearing contacts for years, y'all, because your girl can't see. And I need these contacts to see. And the reason why I um I wear my contacts is because I don't really like wearing my glasses all the time. But child, listen, I be putting on both of them at one time. <laughs> all right. So maybe I could see now. All right, this says, I just can't pronounce this word. Um, 
something couture velvet cream i think it says to Taj. that's what i think it says and this is the um the uh hold on y'all oh no they don't they don't say that but this is the ysl i think it's some kind of lippy though let me see yeah this is like a red a red lippy y'all and this is the saint laurent okay little lip little red lip gloss all right really cute i like this little mini stuff <laughs> that's too cute and then we have the i don't know what this is chad but it's some youth water i don't know youth watery oil replumps smooths and eliminates this is what this is i was reading like the bottom part of the box so this is the name of this product okay let me open this up and it looks like this right here all right so i guess you're supposed to apply this onto the face as well okay mm. tell me something i don't know these are some new products some new products for me this is the soft glow discover the moisture rising soft cream that's what this is and it says um lemur correct me if i'm wrong y'all but that's what this is right here okay and then i just got you know a couple of samples this is the j malone london cologne right here I'm gonna smell this real quick and see what this here smells like. I may have to spread. Mmm. This smells so soft. I like this smell. This smells really good. Because y'all know I don't really like fruity or real loud and, you know, just too strong scents. So. If you give me something that's real, like soft and not too loud, I can rock with it, y'all. This smells really good. It does. Thank you so very much. Okay, so I do have... This is the um, YSL Mascara. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Let's see. Love the packaging. Ain't that cute? Look at that, y'all. Oh, that is too cute. So this is just some black, you know, mascara for your lashes and stuff. Okay. And then, last but not least, I have this little pouch right here and this is a YSL a cute little pouch okay I just got a couple little goodies in here okay let's just take everything out all right so I have the um this is the mascara volume effect so this is just a little mini a little mini mascara y'all it's actually the same as this. It's just a little small one. Okay. Then we have the purse shots. <laughs> okay. I think I have like three of them. So this one here is called Night Reboot. And then I have... Um, Hold on, let's see. This one is called Y Shape, and this one is called Lines Away. Okay. So I will be testing these out, and then I have some, some, uh, what is this? 
this is some soft polish hmm I don't know what you use this for y'all but y'all can let me know in the comment section what this here is for yeah that's pretty much all of my products y'all that came in this box and I really really do appreciate you Miss Jackie like Jack did not have to send me nothing you know Ken who got enough stuff already <laughs> you ain't had to send me nothing but I'm grateful I'm grateful though grateful and thankful okay so I will put these products to test I do have a couple of more samples right here y'all it's just like some samples yeah so I will be trying some of this stuff to see how it works for me and I like this little cute little makeup of the couch that's cute all righty my babies now go up in here and see if Jemaya is out of school. Let me see what time it is because she should be getting ready to uh to get out of class. Oh yeah, she out. It's 2.50. I got that stuff on my hand. It's 2.58 so she out. Let me go in here and take her. I'm actually finna. Jemaya! I just want to tell her to come up and hit you. Alrighty. So, I just hope this here works for me. Y'all, I'm going to head to another Dollar Tree right quick. And then I'm going to go up and... Um, I'm probably going to stop at, a, at another beauty supply store. Because I'm looking for those e.l.f. cameo concealers. So, I do want to purchase me like... I'll just, I'll just purchase one. I was going to purchase two. But I'll probably end up purchasing one of those for you know up under my eyes and stuff like that when i'm doing my makeup and i'm gonna go to another dollar tree to see if i can find some more of these products right here so yeah y'all just gonna hang out with me and rose with me some more okay jamai i hope she ain't then took a little nap or something because she what time is it again it is three o'clock she just got out of school like 2, 2.45. So, I'm going to go in here and see if she didn't, she, she, she napping because I really don't know, child. Let me go in here right quick. Let me get these scissors. Take her little gift in here right quick. camera acting like this it's just y'all y'all just don't understand what i see on my end versus what y'all probably looking at on y'all end it's probably a clear picture but this whole entire lens and camera just went red it just went red she opened up her her gift y'all she, she ain't got no clothes so i'm not gonna put her on camera y'all i'm gonna share with share with y'all what is in the packaging though okay so we shall see snuggie you want to tell me judy thank you i ain't gonna put you on camera but she can hear you though she can hear you thank you judy y'all did y'all hear that <laughs> she's so soft and low spoken I really can't hear her. i want to know what this is what is this snuggie a watch what kind of watch is that? Look at her. She gonna say, "Mom, mom, please, mom." Snooker, what kind of watch is that? Oh my girl, come on now, open it up, y'all. She is just over here grinning. I can't see. Let me see. You got an Apple Watch Series Three. Oh my God, Miss Judy. Thank you, Jesus. I can't, girl, I'm just speechless right now. You didn't went out and bought my child an Apple Watch. Oh my gosh. You might hear it up and open it. I want to see how it looks. And this child been worm me to death. 
She's been worrying me to death about an Apple Watch. I mean, like, <laughs> she just been worrying me to death about one. And I kept telling her, I don't know if I'm going to get you no Apple Watch because I just bought you an Apple phone. I kept telling her that because she stays on the phone 24-7. But then again, it's like talk on it. She just be, you know, on social media. So she rarely talks to people on the phone. She may be doing a lot of texting or talking to her little friends through apps and stuff like that. Instagram, Snapchat, stuff like that. But as far as her, you know, just talking on the phone, talking on the phone, Jamaya really don't do that. She really don't. But I know she's excited about this Apple Watch. She finally got her hands on an Apple Watch, y'all. <laughs> Look at her. I wish I could just show y'all her face expression right now but she ain't got no clothes on she just like took her clothes off this poor child and just because she just got out of school a couple of what a couple of minutes ago and she did not already took her clothes off child please let me see this cute little watch though it's so cute but you know what snuggle you can change your band and you can change the top part you can just get it you know you can get those off can y'all order like different bands and stuff and like the covers to go on top of the screen on amazon i think you can i'm not for sure because i know how this child is she she gonna want something real fancy let me see a little watch child so this is jamaya's apple watch y'all she just got a cute little black apple watch okay and like i said she probably finna decorate this thing change the change the uh bands and she probably end up buying her something to cover up her little screen right here so it won't get cracked but yeah oh this is just too nice thank you miss judy child you just don't know mm, how grateful and thankful i am right now because Y'all know that I was going to eventually get Jamaya an Apple Watch, but it wasn't going to be right now. Because <laughs> you know her birthday coming up June 6th. So, girl, all I can tell you is, Miss Judy, you didn't save me some money, baby. You you have. <laughs> you have saved me some money. But I really, really do appreciate you blessing my daughter like this. Because she been wanting this Apple Watch for a minute now. So... Yeah, Snuggle, anything you want to say to Miss Judy again? I ain't going to put you on the camera, baby, because I know you ain't got no clothes on. Anything else you want to say to her? Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. You heard that, Miss Judy? She said thank you. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let me get up out of here so I can hear. Snuggle, give me all your trash. Oh, everything you don't want. It's something else in here. Mm -mm. Put it out. Yeah, you do. You got a card in there. Read your card before um uh, before I get up out of here. I didn't know you had no card up in here. But yeah, y'all. I'm finna head to this Dollar Tree child and <sighs> hopefully I can find this concealer at um what did I tell y'all I was going? The British Supply Store. Yeah, hopefully I can find it up there. I'm going to show y'all her little card, too. She reading to herself. I like this cute little watch, though. So, no, you're going to decorate it. I said decorate it. You're going to, like, change the band and stuff on it. Hmm. I know you finna see her, girl. She going to sit here all day and try to hook this up to her phone. I know what she finna do. And she going to keep it on. She going to keep that watch on 24-7 until it's time for her to take a bath. I know she is. <laughs> look at this. Look, look at how if I wish I could just put this girl face expression on camera, y'all. Y'all should see how hard she grinning right now. <laughs> Let me see your car, girl. This is her car, y'all. A really cute car. She did read it to herself. Let me see. Yeah, she got a long little note right here. Oh, uh, okay. So Miss Judy actually blessed Jemiah with the watch for her report card. So that's the reason why she blessed her with the Apple Watch because she got good grades, y'all. Which Jemiah, she has been doing really good in school. Like, y'all, straight A student, A's and B's. Like, that is good. 
I'm just a proud mom right now. I'm just a proud mom. So, yeah. Anywho, I'm finna head up out of here, child. And so you gonna keep this? You gonna keep your box? Because you wanna put it back in, put it up. Or you don't wanna keep it? Hmm. I got this. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm up out of here, child. I'm on my way to the store. Okay. Yeah, I done made it to this Dollar Tree chair. Trying to see if my my sneakers <laughs> are tied up properly because I really don't, well actually not tied up. I have my shoestrings just in the uh, in the shoestring little little loops or whatever, but I don't tie my, my forces up because they high top and I never tie them up. I just leave the shoestrings hanging out of them. Oh. And I'm trying to put the shoestring back in the little, the little loop here. I'm gonna let y'all see my little socks, how, how, how I'm wearing my little joggers too. See how I got that? And I got my little socks like this. This is what I'm talking about. This is how I wanna wear, you know, my joggers and whatever. But anyway, child. Ooh, I got my keys, Jesus. Oh, okay, I got them. <sighs> Hopefully. Hopefully, they got some hard candy products up in here. Nope. I don't know. I'm well, not for sure. Y'all, I see some workers uh, over here. But you know what? They look dead at me. Didn't say not a word with me holding my camera. That's how I know it was something wrong with that lady at that Dollar Tree, y'all. It was something really wrong with her. She was going through something or something, child. I don't know. I know her store was just tore up and stuff was all over the place. And I know a lot of y'all said that too. And it's probably true. She didn't want nobody to see all that mess she had thrown in where she didn't have no baskets available and stuff was just everywhere. So that's probably what it was, y'all. Let me give me a basket. At least they got So this basket. Dollar Tree here is the one that's always fully stocked. I love this Dollar Tree. Look behind me. See all that stuff? It's just stocked up really nice. This is the makeup section. Everything is just fully stocked. So this is the location that Granny, she always wanted to come here. And I don't know if Smoochie brought her to this one. Like, look at all they nail polish, y'all. Like, I ain't never seen this much nail polish stacked up on a shelf. And I don't know when. Not in no Dollar Tree, chair. I mean, they done put out some new nail polish colors. <laughs> This orange is pretty right here. I know somebody asked me what I had on my nails and I had um, the number 888. That's what this color pinky is. Let me see if they have it in here. Let's see if I can. What number is this? This is 516. I have this one at home as well, but this is not the one that's on my nails right now. Let's see. They may not. They may not have the one that's on my nails up in here. All I see is five, five, sixteen. Let me see what this is. Oh, this is a little darker. This is nine forty-six. So I know it's not that. Well, y'all, I don't know. What color is this? I really can't see the color on that one. It's like somebody didn't open that one up. Anyways, let's see. Do I see any hard candy products? Which I don't see any at this location. And I hope they didn't put the products out and I just missed out on it. <laughs> you know, because, you know, when stuff like that be out at the Dollar Tree, it does not last long. It doesn't. I was trying to see what kind of lashes those were. <sighs> well, I guess I'm out of luck over here, child. I am out of luck. What is this? A Wet n Wild uh, highlighter for your eyes. That's what this is for. I sure want those products, y'all. 
I have the coconut moisturizing body oil right here. I believe that's like a new product up in here because I haven't seen that. Not at this location I have. I don't even think I've ever seen it at another other location. I think I think that vitamin E oil. Then we have the facial moisturizing cream and lavender. We have this. So this is a new item. And then they have the detox detoxing hair mask i haven't seen this either okay y'all let me go on on down i remember this here i remember this styling gel <laughs> i used to wear this in my hair some years ago and i stopped using it because i don't know if it was turning white in my hair i don't even know if this is this uh this was it y'all it could have been that clear gel that when I used to wear a ponytail, it would turn the side of my my hair white and I just stopped buying it. It may not be this. This may be better. Right here, this gel. But I remember buying something like this years ago and I just I just stopped buying it, child. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are like some all purpose cleaning cloths. They didn't put these out too, y'all. So you can really use these for like wiping off furniture and stuff. And like counters and stuff like that. I need to give me some more hangers too. Grab me some more of these hangers because child listen. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Candy Poo got so many clothes. How many times I told y'all that? How many times have I told y'all that? Like this outfit I got on there. Y'all ain't never seen me wore this jogging suit right here. It's because, <laughs> y'all, I be trying to, I be trying to get my clothes together. Like I was telling y'all, I needed these socks to wear in my cute little jogging set. Sometimes I won't even wear my clothes until I get like the right pair of shoes or, or whatever that I want to match it. I'll leave it in the closet. And then I'll like save some of my clothes, like some of my little cute little outfits to wear, you know, run errands with my husband or whatever, because he'll be like, baby, why you wearing that? I'll be like, husband. I'll shake my head, child. <laughs> so, and it'd be like new outfits that I haven't worn, but I've probably reviewed on my other channel or something, and he may want me to wear it with him, and I'll just wear it out by myself, you know, running errands or whatever, if he's at work. And he'd be like, baby, why you ain't wear that with me? <laughs> so... Child, I be saving outfits just to wear with hubby and I just got so many clothes, child. I don't even know what I got. Because I got so many shoes and clothes and I'm like constantly buying shoes that I don't need. And I may go pick up me like, you know, a couple of shirts like I did at Rainbow or something. But I ain't finna do no whole, whole lot of clothing shopping. Because, excuse me. Cause I already got enough and I ain't got enough space in neither one of my closets for no more clothes. I'm just saying, shoes either. So, Lord knows, I'm waiting on that blessing cause when this this house come, y'all, this next house for me and my husband, I guarantee you, it's gonna be big enough for all my shoes and all my clothes. <laughs> I'm just saying, child, cause it's just ridiculous and I'm constantly getting clothes like from you know lovely wholesale like i'm constantly getting like outfits and stuff from them so yeah but anyway they got a nice size car wash cleaner i should get some of these i should get some of this to uh get the lewis so he can wash me and his car with these this is an all-purpose car wash i think i'm gonna get some of these he probably gonna wash our cars with this because my car is still dirty y'all from the snow and stuff like that my husband he haven't had a chance to uh to wash neither one of the vehicles because Louis just been working and he just ain't had time so i guess he gonna wash them probably sometime next week if it don't rain all right i know what i do need i need some of that dashboard spray to uh you know make your dashboard shine and your doors and stuff shine inside of your vehicle that's what i need 
this right here. Let me see what this is. This is like the cleaner. I probably get some of these. This is for the clean inside of your car. And this is the Amaral to protect it. And then they also have this one. This is a oh, this is tie shine. So they got tie shine here. It's the protecting. I'm gonna get some of this protecting right here for the wipe down the inside. And then I need to grab. I guess I'm gonna grab some of these too. So they got a strawberry. These are my favorite car scents. Favorite ones, y'all. So I'm gonna grab a strawberry and a cherry. Just like a little journal because I need a Bible journal. I was gonna go to the Bible store, but since ours closed down over here in my area, I'm just gonna pick up me like a cute little just a little journal to write all of my Bible, you know, notes and stuff in when I'm studying at nighttime and stuff. And uh, I wanna write down my notes. I just need just a little journal. I want something bigger than this. I don't want nothing this small. I may have to get one, you know, small like that if I can't find no bigger size. I got some cute ones. This one is cute right here. I like that one. Let's see. No, I don't want that one. I may have to get one of those. One of those, no. uh, those little small ones. I know they got a Bible store. I know they got one somewhere else, but the one that I normally would go in, it closed down. And I used to go up in there to get like, you know, Bible accessories. That's where I bought my little Bible case. And I bought my bio from out of there as well. So they were having like a little sale up in there. I remember that too. And that's when I had grabbed those, <laughs> those pieces, but since I ain't there no more, I'm just gonna probably just give me a cute little notebook to keep all of my notes in. I'll probably just grab one of these. <sighs> yeah, I'll just grab one of these. I'm trying to see which one I want. They have this one here. It says Dream Big. But I'll probably get this one, the one that I showed y'all at first. I like this one right here. Probably just pick that one up. They have these right here. I may need to just grab this one because this one is pretty big. And it's just like a... Oh, it's almost like a composition book. But it's not. Well, oh, it is. You might as well say it is. Because look at it, y'all. So it's basically for like students and stuff like that. But I'm not using it for that. <laughs> I'm using it specifically for my Bible notes. That's what I'm using it for. Yeah, I may just end up picking up one of these. Oh, these are the real small ones right here. Just a thicker book. Okay, so I am gonna pick up me one of these. This is this is what I need right here. So I just grab me one of these. And I got enough highlighters. I got enough pens and stuff like that. I wish they had like some Bible stickers. I don't see no Bible stickers or nothing like that. Okay, here. Oh well. I see some new wax melts in here. This one here. It smells kind of good. I really can't smell it because my mask is like fully over my nose. I'm trying to see if I can smell it through my mask. Let me see. Oh, this don't smell good at all. <laughs> see, I don't know what this smell like, but I don't like the scent on that one. Mm -mm. 
Let's see, they got vanilla. I can smell that vanilla. And they got some new candles. Blueberry pancake. Right here. I think these old, y'all. These candles old. I don't know. I don't know. Let me smell it. Because I remember them having. Let me see. It smells so good. I remember them having these candles. But they used to have so many different scents. Like, they don't really carry all the scents like they used to. But I do see this scent right here. I like those mason jar candles. They really, uh, you know, bring off a scent in your house. A lot of these other candles and stuff like that, they be you know putting out here you really can't you really can't smell them when you burn them but you can smell them like like just putting them up to your nose but if you burn them child you really don't smell nothing guess what y'all guess what i done ran into the word puzzle books y'all remember these boy i tell you i tell you i used to love doing these right here i just used to sit on my granny couch get her book and just do about probably like three pages out her book <laughs> and then i'll write my little name at the end saying that candace did this <laughs> i think i'm gonna buy me one of these y'all because these little books come in handy especially when you just want to you know do something in the bed you know Pick up a little word puzzle book and uh you know look for some words and stuff other than me doing my little bible study and stuff like that this will be good for me child they got a thicker one here too this one is a little smaller right here they got a lot of them they got a lot of different ones this say word fun. Is that the one I just picked up? No. This is why you gotta give me. This say word finds. And I volume it's 201. I think I'm gonna get this one. Let's see. Well, this one probably about the same. I may pick up this one because they got a lot of different ones now. Let me see what this one is. Yeah, this one about. I'll probably get this one right here. I'll probably get this one. I'm so glad I found this book, child. Because like I said, they got a bigger one. This is a... I don't... Ooh. I ain't never liked it doing these right here. I always like doing the word. Just finding the words. These books right here which is right up my alley, child. Especially when I... When I used to be at Granny House and I'd be younger. Me and her sit on the couch and do word puzzle books. <laughs> I remember them days. I wonder what we did. Those were the good old days when you can just sit on the couch with your front door wide open, the screen door open. Now, child, you got to lock all your doors, shut your windows, close your blinds. You got to do all that type of stuff now because people done got crazy. <laughs> child, people done got crazy out here now. You really can't even... Uh, Get in your car without trying to hurry up and lock your doors. I'm telling you, it's just got bad out here. And my little crazy self, I be getting in the car, leaving my door open. And I know next time, Candace will not do that again at Walmart. I won't do it no more. I sure won't. I'm gonna be a little bit more safer. Sure is. They got a lot of books. They done put out a lot of books. And I think they put them out due to some of the kids that still, you know, doing virtual school. They put a lot of books out. A lot of little games and stuff like that. Activities for the kids. They got a lot of books in here. I can't believe they got this size Bible up in here, y'all. Look at this. Normally at the Dollar Tree, they don't have this size Bible. They normally have those real little bitty small ones. But this is the King uh, James Version. This is a pretty nice size. It sure is. I already got a Bible, so I don't need no Bible. I probably just get me a couple of uh, devotional books and stuff like that. You know, that has like different devotionals in there and stuff. I may just find me a couple 
of those. Okay, y'all, so these are the Bibles that I normally see. Y'all see how small this Bible is? Yeah, this is normally what they have here at the Dollar Tree. So to see that nice size, that's a pretty nice size for a dollar. It sure is. So I done ran into some cute little stickers, but these aren't the ones that I'm looking for. These are some really nice ones too. Look at these, y'all. Some real nice stickers. Let me see what these say. Mm. They got these. So they have these here and then they have these. So they got some nice stickers up in here. But they just don't have the kind that I'm looking for. Got some cute little cupcakes here. I was trying to see if they had like some dry shampoo up in here. Because you can also spray your wigs, you know, with a dry shampoo. I don't see any though. What is this right here? This is some under control finishing spray. Oh, this may be it. I mean, you can use this for some weeds, child. I mean, this is not shampoo. This is just like some, uh, it controls frizziness. Ah, okay. So I wonder do this works. I don't know. But that's what it says. It controls uh, frizz and stuff like that. And it resists humidity. So, I'm gonna do that work. So, if, if y'all ever tried this, let me know if this right here works or not. Because if it does, I can spray some of that on my wigs as well, you know, to keep down the, the, uh, the frizziness. Spray that on there, child, and be gone after dough. Alrighty, y'all. I'm gonna get ready and get my little stuff up out of here so I can head to this uh to this beauty supply store chair to find these concealers that I'm looking for. Hopefully, I can find them and they're not too uh too pricey, child. I'm gonna tell y'all something about these beauty supply stores. They be jacking them prices up and making the product higher than what the original price is like these little elf products i'm getting they ain't nothing but six dollars well you know they're six dollars at walmart so if i go up here to this beauty supply store and they done jacked up this price to about, about like eight dollars or ten dollars baby no i am not picking it up it's gonna stay at the beauty supply store and i'll just make my way to walmart and pick up those little concealers that's what I'm gonna do. What is this right here? This is some clarifying conditioner. Hmm. <laughs> I need to pick some of these up, y'all. These, these right here. This is a nice size bottle. Even though this is not the kind that have like the little squirt top on them, those are the ones that I was looking for. But this is a nice size. Plus, it says limited edition, so they're not gonna keep these. Once these are gone, they probably not gonna get them back. So I am going to grab a couple of these right here. So they have the Tropical Breeze and then they have the, um, what is this? This is the Ole Vera and Jasmine. So yeah, I'm gonna grab some of these. I think I'm gonna grab like four of them. These little things right here, child, they do come in handy. So what I am gonna do, probably keep the Dow hand uh, bottles that I have. And once that soap gets low, I can just take these and just squirt it in the other bottle. So these are gonna be like a, a refill for me, child. But that's some pretty good soap. Dow, to me, is like some really good, you know, hand soap and body soap. All right, so I guess this is, pretty much it y'all they got some iced latte chilled coffee drink and caramel y'all ever saw this 
Y'all saw these. They have this one too in vanilla. Mmm. So I see. They didn't put out some some chilled coffee drinks. Even though I don't drink coffee, y'all. I mean, I just do hot chocolate and I really don't do hot chocolate that much. I do a lot of tea though. This is different. Sugar-free rippet energy uh drink. Lewis, he'll love these. And I and I have to tell him, you need to uh stay off them energy drinks, husband. Cause you be drinking way too many. <laughs> and he'll look at me and start laughing. This say monster dragon tea. Mmm. I wonder what this tastes like. Since it's some tea. I don't know. Ain't no telling, child. Ain't no telling. I would buy one for Louis so he can try it. What is this? This is another energy drink. Zero Ultra. So this probably ain't got nothing in it. Zero sugar. Yeah, this probably ain't got nothing in it, child. I wonder if Louis would like this. This is Dragon Tea, though. Like the name of it don't even sound right to me. <laughs> I wonder if Louis would drink that. I know he'll drink that Rippy right there. But I don't know about that tea, child. I ain't finna buy him no energy drink, though, because I be trying to, trying to tell him to get off the energy drinks. So I am not finna buy that for him. I'd rather for him to drink water and tea. But like I said, I would get him this. But, child, I don't know. I don't know if Louis gonna drink this. I don't even know if he gonna like this. But my husband is picky. He is very picky. <laughs> Let me see what else they got down here. Oh, these are like more energy drinks and stuff like that. Mm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go and get him one. I just wanna see his reaction i just want to see if he'll like this or not what is this right here this look like some what the world they say espresso espresso and cream oh i bet this is nasty i'm gonna get lewis one of these though since it's some tea <laughs> i wonder if he gonna like this <laughs> that's gonna be funny child i done been up in this though too Long chat. I am finna go, baby. Let me go check out, girl. <laughs> up in this beauty supply store now that last beauty supply store i went in y'all the one that i got my little cute uh hats from they they got some elf products up in there and i just knew that this one carried elf products but you know mainly i don't know mainly don't too many beauty supply stores carry elf products i guess it all depends on what location that you that you going to but you know what i'm probably gonna have to go to walmart because i know they sell elf products my thing is i just didn't feel like going to walmart today child i just don't feel like it i don't know y'all i just i just really don't feel like going up in walmart right now i really don't I don't even feel like driving up there. <laughs> I mean, I may go, but I just really don't feel like it. But I do need those concealers, though. Let me take my purse bag off. 
I need those Cameo concealers because I just want to see how they work, you know, up under up under your eyes to conceal. I be trying so many products that I just need to need to find my right uh, concealer shade because I haven't felt it yet. And I just be using different stuff, you know, just trying different stuff just to see what matches, you know, my, my skin tone. So, 9 out of 10, child. I'm going to have to end up going to Walmart for those elf products. Plus, if I want to spend like $6 on these particular uh, items... I'm gonna have to go to Walmart because I guarantee getting these products at at any type of beauty supply store is gonna probably be a little higher. What y'all think? And I know TJ Maxx sell Elf products, but I don't know if they sell these Cameo concealers. <sighs> I just don't know. A lot of their elf products at TJ Maxx, they just be like spread it all around anyway, mixed in with other makeup products. So it's not like they just have a a whole section of elf products at TJ Maxx. Well, I ain't never saw it like that. All the TJ Maxx that I went to, all of their makeup items are just strolled all over the place. Like everything is just like in, you know, different areas. And it's not the same makeup brand. Like you may have a uh, 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 what you call that? What you call that doggone concealer, y'all? <laughs> I don't even know, child. But it's one of them high end concealers. And I'm trying to think what it's called. Uh, Anastasia. Am I saying it right? Yeah, they may have that, like, sitting, like, in one place and then they may have like a elf foundation sitting in the same exact area where the the uh the anastasia is i'm saying it right y'all because i'm gonna keep asking y'all until i get it correct <laughs> they might have that you know in the same area as the elf products that's why i said stuff just be everywhere when you're looking at tj maxx but if i go and go up here to walmart they're going to have their own little elf section to where, you know, you can find everything. You ain't got to be looking for stuff. It's just all in one area. I surely don't feel like going all the way out here. But it looks like I'm going to have to go because, like I said, I need the concealer for up under my eye tone. I just need it. Oh, Lord. So they want to take up the whole parking spot where I be parking it. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, listen. This battery is finna literally cut off on y'all. And I just pulled up at Walmart and I don't have another battery with me. I left the rest of my batteries at home, y'all. Dog. I'm going to try to cut this off and try to save some battery to see what happens y'all okay i'm sorry about that y'all y'all may have to see me when i get to the house two thousand years later yes y'all i am back girl listen i did not know i was up in walmart that long sorry i couldn't take y'all in there with me i just walked in the house and changed my battery there's my husband he pulled up right after me <laughs> so Sorry about that, y'all, because I really want to take y'all in Walmart with me so y'all can pick out, well, help me pick out the uh, the Cameo, the Elf Cameo um, concealers. Let me wash my hand right quick, too, since I just, like, walked in the house not too long ago. Let me wash my hand real quick. Okay. I'm going to show y'all what I just uh, picked up at Walmart, too. Right quick. Jemiah. She didn't call me and told me to pick up some, some uh, tortilla shells and stuff like that. She took out some, she took some ground beef out. I told her, 
She better come up in here and make make that ground beef up. She's so lazy, child. She don't even want she don't even want to come up in here and and fry the meat. No, I had oh, I had already opened some of husband. So I can say I had went ahead on to grab some of the dollar dollar gym. Where you get them from? Dollar Tree. Oh, you went to Dollar General too? Mm -hmm. I just grabbed one too, so we we won't uh, run out real quick. So, what did you do at work today? Hmm. <laughs> Were they getting on your nerves? Yes. Didn't I ask you that earlier? Mm -hmm. You see your food? Yeah. So, y'all, I prepped husband's food in one of his Applebee's trays when he got some Applebee's. <sighs> I still had the the little tray and I prepped him up some some dinner so when he came home, actually I cooked this. I told y'all earlier when I cooked this. Remember I told y'all I made them some corky ribs, baked beans, and mashed potatoes? Well, that's Louis dinner for the day. So this is what his dinner looking like. <laughs> So he got his baked beans, ribs, and mashed potatoes. He liked cheese on his mashed potatoes, so I just sprinkled a little cheese on there. But that's his little dinner I prepped up for him. I just put it in this little tray so he can just warm it up in the microwave because I know he got to head out his uh, second post. So yeah, Jamaya, she ate some of that food yesterday. So she told me she wants soft, soft shell tacos. She better come up in here and make this ground beef. I'm finna turn this light off, y'all. I may leave it on. I'll just leave it on. So y'all won't be in the dark. Anyways, let me just share with you guys what I picked up at Wally World. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this rain light on now because it's dark outside now. I don't want it to be like directly behind me though. Cause I don't want it to be to the point where y'all can actually see it. Cause I just feel like that's annoying though. Like ain't, ain't the rain like disturbing y'all when y'all can just look at it from off somebody's camera from the back. I don't know child. But anyways, I got all my Dollar Tree bags here. I'm gonna have to go put my coconut water in it. Louisville! I'm finna show him this stuff right here. I hear about this. This is for you to wash the cars with. That's a nice size. You found it at Dollar Tree. That's a nice size, man. I did a nice size. Yeah, this wash and wax, whatever. I need to go I should have got two of them, shouldn't it? I'm going to go back and get about five or six of them. Five or six of them? <laughs> yeah, this wasn't nothing but a dollar, but you know what? They don't have these at all the Dollar Trees. They got them at the Dollar Tree that I always take you to. This, Way out there. That's stocked up all the time. That's where these mm -hmm. at. I'm going to go out there. Well, I'm probably going to have to go out there. Okay, y'all. So, this is my... Nah, somebody sent me that in my P.O. box. Miss Jacqueline sent me that. And then, uh, you know you know the guy, S. Walker, that sent you the little tag to go on the refrigerator? He sent... No, nah, this ain't it. He sent this right here. Now, I don't know if this is for me and you or just for you. But it says... Let's go back to church. Yes, it says, let's go back to church, volume oh, one. And then read that right there so this is actually a cd that he i think recorded i think he... <laughs> let's be trying to read let me let y'all see i know my camera ain't he just like me child can't hardly see lord have mercy jesus y'all know i got to have contacts and glasses to see oh Okay. What are you, what are you saying? You I read like it. And like to send a donation, he's saying cash out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I read that too. But I can't be but, in the car because I don't have a CD player anymore. I just got the Bluetooth. Oh, you just got the Bluetooth. I yeah. thought you had this. I thought you had this. I don't have a CD player either. We're going to listen to it in the house. I mean, I don't I have no CD. It's something else on the inside. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. You wrote something else on the inside. 
Uh, they, I mean, I don't think he... I don't know. You can open it up and see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Louis just brought it to my attention. Like, neither one of us have CD players in our vehicles. Like, we just uh, work out Bluetooth through the phone and stuff like that. Or, you know, the flash drive for to listen to music. So, mm. this will have to be listened to on my computer or... Well, just my computer, because... <laughs> Yeah, Child, that? listen. I do have an old stereo that is put up in Jamai's room. I gave it to Jamai, but she don't listen to it. It's like a. So what we can do? It's is like an old little stereo system. If I like it, I can download to to the phone and then play it in the car. Yeah, but I'm gonna let you listen to it. I'm gonna let you listen to it first. Well, we can both listen to it together, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna see what it uh what it sounds like. But anyways, y'all, back to you ladies, okay? So, this is the e.l.f. Hydrating um, Cameo Concealer, and I got it in, this is the full coverage satin, and I got it in the medium neutral. So, hopefully this works for me. I was going to pick up that medium peach. I think they had that, that, uh that color as well and that one there was a little bit more light and peachy but this one hopefully this one works for me up under my eyes hopefully I should put some up under my eyes right now just to see what it looks like <laughs> but oh okay so this is what it looks like y'all even though y'all probably didn't already sink this let me see okay so it looks like this works pretty good I'm gonna blend that in I'm gonna have to get one of my uh let me get one of my my little blenders right here I use this purple one let me just blend this in right quick y'all I just want to see okay so can y'all tell the difference I don't want this stuff to get in my eyes does that make a difference or is that the same it's my skin tone, y'all. I can't even tell, girl. Like, does that look lighter up under my eye or what? Child, listen, I should have got a lighter shade. I think I should have got that, that medium peach. That may would have been a little lighter, but I'm not for sure. But I don't know. Y'all just got to tell me what difference do y'all see? Like... Does it look lighter than this side over here? I really can't tell. But anyway, I did pick up me some nails, child. These nails here, let me get my receipt. So these nails cost $5.94. I was just so like shocked. You wanna know why? Because the design on these, y'all, I mean, these are cute and then I had to pay attention to the round part of the nail to make sure that this part of the nail is round so it can fit my nail because I cannot wear nails that are square right here. It will not fit my nail. That's what I was trying to explain to y'all when I was at Dollar General. So these nails right here cost $5.94 and I was just so shocked. Look at these nails y'all. Look at these nails. Ain't they cute though? Something different. And to top it off, if you see some nails like this at the beauty supply store, you're gonna pay $10 or probably higher. Cause these, I'm pretty sure they would have had them at the beauty supply store for about $9.99. So for to get these for like, you know, $5 and some change, that's a good deal. And then I got these right here. I love the design on these, y'all. That is just so cute. 
And y'all see how round they are? If this part of the nail is round, when the nails are like that, they can fit my nails perfectly. And that's what I uh, like about these right here. So yeah, I hope they look cute on my hand when I put them on my hand, child. All right, let's see what else I purchased at Wally World. I think that's all I purchased at Wally World, other than, you know, that little stuff that Jemiah asked me for. All the rest of this stuff came from Dollar Tree. Y'all already saw what I picked up at Dollar Tree. You know, my little car fresheners, my hand soaps and stuff like that. And I grabbed like four of these. Got my word puzzle book. I got my um, protectant in my um, auto cleaner. And this holding spray. And this is just my personals and stuff like that. Okay. Got my little um uh nail nail parlor uh toe slippers. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Got some hangers. my cute little it's gonna be my little my little bible study book oh Louisville come come right quick got my coconut water oh yeah that's the rest of my coconut water and there I bought you something I, I want you to taste this this is some Monster. It's not an energy drink, husband, because you already know how I feel about energy drinks now. Right. This is a dragon tea. Uh, made by Monster. Yeah, I want you to taste it. Okay. I want you to taste it right now because I want you. I want you to tell me what this tastes like because I know you like drinking tea and stuff like that. But have you tried this one? Uh huh. Monster <laughs> make energy drinks. Yeah, Monster do make energy drinks. Now I did see a lot of energy drinks up in there, but. Like I said, you know how I feel about energy drinks. I don't buy him energy drinks, y'all. He already knows that. Because I know that this just way too much sugar for him. And he'll sit there and drink an energy drink every day. Y'all need to tell him. I remember y'all telling him. No every day anymore. See, he said no more. Remember oh, I used to tell y'all? And a couple of y'all used to say, you better tell Louis to get off them energy drinks, candy poop. What it tastes like? Is it nasty? Tastes like water. It tastes like water. It tastes like colorful water. Oh, really? So it's nasty. I just wanted you to try it, huh? Let's see. <laughs> he said it tastes like colorful water. Like, okay, so if it tastes like colorful water, what's the what, what's what's your flavor? What kind of flavor? It's a tea flavor, but it's just oh. watery. But oh wow! Is this camera set have, on the right setting? Like, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. It, I'm back, child. It has the the camera won't even sit the on the right setting. Vitamin six and huh? the B, it still has the V12 and the vitamin six in there. Okay. Um, sodium just, zero. Huh? Sodium zero. Well, that's good. Zero carbs, grams of sodium. That's sugar, good. four grams. That's, that ain't bad. Four grams of sugar, that's not bad at all. I was just wondering what that tasted like. If you don't like it, though, you ain't got to drink it. It's all right. It just tastes like water. <laughs> it tastes like water, dog. So, it tastes like water. <laughs> just like when I eat celery. Celery by itself? Celery tastes like crunchy water. No, actually, celery tastes like celery. It's to like, me, it does. It tastes like crunchy water. Mm. I can tell you, you know how when you eat celery with ranch and stuff? Mm -hmm. It tastes like crunchy water. Mm. <laughs> well, if you say so. Anyway.
Anyways, y'all. I think that's every uh oh, that's everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, other than my lashes and stuff like that. Y'all know I picked these up at the other Dollar Tree and my uh my finishing powder right here. Y'all already saw that. And then I grabbed some Kiss Gel Nail Polish Shine. I got one of those. And I think that's, that's it, child. Yes, that's it. The rest of my coconut water is up in here. And, oh, I got Jemiah. Jemiah loves these. I got her some of those. I forgot about that. These are the rest of my coconut waters right here. And that's pretty much, pretty much it, darlings. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to put this stuff up. And that's it, y'all. I'm going to get ready and get my little tail up off of here. Look at this right here. Oh, that's my, my nails and stuff like that. But, yeah. That's it, my loves. <sighs> Turn this light on. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me... Let me get Jamaya candy. She gonna sit and eat this whole bag. I know she is. You know this? I got you some more candy. <laughs> Y'all, she done got her little self in the bed. She don't want me to show her, but. She ain't had no bottoms on, y'all, when she was opening up her little love mail. That's why I ain't put her on camera. Look at her, y'all. Snuggles, you finna eat your candy right now? She said I don't want to feed her. Let me tell y'all something about her, y'all. Okay. She don't. Look at her. Look at her, y'all. <laughs> look at her, y'all. She don't want to get up and make that ground beef for her soft shell tacos. See, she want me to cook the meat and she want me to make her tacos for her. I told her that she needs to go ahead and cook the meat and I will drain the meat for her and add the taco sauce. See, she don't even want to get up and just make the meat. She wants me to do it. But she knows how to cook. And she gonna have in there to tell y'all I don't want to feed her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's a mess, child. She is a mess. I gotta put all this stuff up in my beauty room. And that's exactly what I'm finna do. I got a lot of stuff on my desk. I gotta put a lot of stuff up and I'm finna do that, y'all. And I'm finna go in this kitchen real quick and probably whip this girl up these tacos right quick for she burn me. And that's it, y'all. So I'm gonna holly back at y'all later. Y'all stay blessed, okay? I'm praying for everybody. I love y'all to pieces, okay? And um, I'm finna give y'all a hug. <laughs> I love y'all. Love y'all so much, all right? See y'all on the next vlog. Later, babe.